the house. Oh, Cindy, lower, lower. Oh! Shh! Oh, shh. I heard a noise from the living room. I think, I think there's someone in the house. Did you remember to set the alarm? So, who the hell's gonna rob somebody on Christmas Eve? It's a terrorist attack. Just go check. Oh, Christ. There it is again. Chucky, please. All right, all right. Shotgun. What if it's some crazy drug addict on PCP? What? No. What do you want me to blow the cat away by accident? Think of the safety of our children. Okay, okay, I'll take the gun. I'll be back. Bad things happening, living room. They're military. I told you it was a terrorist. Quiet. Holy shit. Seriously? Seriously? You killed him. Is he dead? Yeah. I think he is. I didn't even think he was real. Well, not anymore. Mom. Dad, what's going on? Mommy, I heard a loud noise. Are you fighting? No. Well, mommy and Daddy were just discussing what to leave Santa as a gift this year. You were deciding this with a shotgun. Okay, back to bed. Come on, guys. Come on, go. No, go, move, come on. You don't want Santa to catch you awake now, do you? What the hell were you thinking? Now, don't start with me, Joan. You're the one who said I should bring the shotgun. I didn't even want the damn thing in the house to begin with. I told you to bring it for protection, because I love you, honey. I did not say to put a two-foot hole through the belly of jolly old St. Nick. It was dark and I was scared. And you filled my head with all that talk about drug-crazed PCP terrorist stuff. I heard a noise, I saw something, and I panicked. Who's next, the Easter Bunny? What? Or how about Jesus? You gonna put a cap in his ass, too? Joan, I feel you're making me feel guilty. 
These are my feelings. Or how about, how about we go down to Walmart, wait seven days, buy some machine guns, fill up the minivan, drive up to the North Pole, and do a drive-by? I don't think the Astro Van will make it to the North Pole. We don't have snow tires or chains. I suppose we could pick some up. Uh, uh, no! No! All right, enough! Joan, calm down and focus. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the body! <gasps> What are we gonna do? Get out of there, young mate. He's a walking car. Right. Well, we can't go to the police with this. Why not? Well, what are we gonna do? Bury him in the backyard under our geraniums? Or cut him up with your new sawzall, like Dexter or something? You got me a sawzall? Oops. Merry Christmas, honey. Is it a DeWalt? No, Black and Decker. <laughs> What are we gonna do? Well... Quick, before the kids come back. Okay. All right, hold on, I'm thinking. No, no, don't think. Just do. All right. Uh, we'll take him downstairs, put him in a minivan, get some bricks to weigh him down, then we'll dump him in the Lewis River! Who are you, James Gandolfini? This is not a mob hit. He is not someone we just whacked because he owed us some money. It's... It's Santa! Keep your goddamn voice down! Okay, well... Let's just get him out of here so the kids don't see us. We'll, we'll take him down into the garage and stick him in a leaf bag. You're just gonna throw him out. You're gonna throw Santa out with the trash. You come over here and help me move him. Oh, he weighs a ton. Well, you had to put Crisco on the Christmas cookies. He wouldn't weigh so much. I most certainly did not. I made those with organic flour and wheat germ. Come on and help me. <laughs> Watch out for the carpet. Don't get blood on the carpet. What? Evidence? No, I just had them steamed. It was a Christmas present to myself. <sighs> Maybe we should spin him. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Charles, hey, stop the boat is slipping. No, no. Charles! fine. Don't worry about me. Toss the boots. Maybe we should double bag him. You think? Okay. We'll double bag the bottom. You sit him up. I'll throw the bag over his head. We'll duct tape around him and then we'll just dump him in the trash can. That's a really crappy plan. You think they're not gonna notice? He's gonna look like some leaf bag mummy. Joan, come on. Once he's in, the trash man will just wheel the trash can to the compactor thingy and dump him in. Fine, whatever. Just do it quick before the kids come down. All right, push, push, Joan. Push. I'm trying. I'm trying. Joan, come on. I can almost see that. I'm trying. Jesus Christ, when am I going to stop this? I'm trying! Mom, Dad, what are you... Holy shit! Santa! They killed Santa! Oh, Mommy and Daddy killed Santa. Honey, no. Mommy didn't kill Santa. Daddy did. What the fuck, Mom? You told me he wasn't real! Language, Missy. Well, then who the hell is lying dead on the floor next to my bike? Santa's dead. Now there won't be no more Christmas. No presents. Not ever. There won't be any more Christmas, honey. Boy, you guys really fucked up this time. That's it, young lady. I'm docking your allowance. 
Well, cut the shit, Mom. This is fucking serious. We gotta call the cops or something. She's right, Joan. What are we gonna do? We have to call the police. I'll take the rap for this. It's my fault. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I'll call 911. No, um, just call the police station. Come on, kids, what do you say to some hot cocoa and some Xanax? With marshmallows? Of course, honey. Yes, hello, please. Yes, uh, Merry Christmas to you, too. Um, I'd like to report a murder. Yes, in the house. Uh, an intruder broke in, came into the house, and, well, I shot him. What's the address? Uh, 2859 Cold Canyon Road. Yeah, block past Maple. Uh, yeah, the body's in the garage. Oh, you're coming over right now. Okay, uh, I need to tell you first that... Hello. Damn, they hung up. Well, the police are on their way. Maybe we should say our respects to him or something before they take him. Yeah, I guess. Come on, kids. I know it's hard, but it's the right thing to do. Santa would have wanted it that way. Would you like to say the eulogy, Charles? Since you put a hole in him the size of the Christmas star? Oh, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. To this Moses said to the Mennonites, as he laid down his rod and shaft, my cup filleth over, I am the shepherd, I shall not want to lay me down in greener pastures to drink the milk of paradise. Hey, enough! I'll do the eulogy. Bow your heads, kids. Lord, oh Lord, you gave us this great man who, like your only son, brought joy and wonder to millions. And like your son was condemned to death and taken from us when we needed him the most. In this case, he was shot in our living room by my idiot husband with a 12-gauge shotgun purchased from Esmart for $149.95. Hey. Amen. Hey, Amen. Yours wasn't much better than mine. Spit in your ear, Charles. Kids, would you like to say anything to Santa? I love you, Santa. Please come back and bring us our presents. Santa, I'm sorry my dad blew you away. Audrey, now try to be more respectful of your father. Charles, did you? No, how could I? Yeah. Okay. It's over here. Well, wait a second. We called the police. You're not the police. I want to see some ID. I'm sure that you have heard stories of people seeing things in the night sky on Christmas Eve that resemble a sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. I assure you they have not. It was only reflected light from the Earth's ozone layer blowing in the winter wind. What? Mommy! Where are they taking Santa? I don't know, honey. Charles, what's going on? Merry Christmas, Heston family. We were never here. Wait a 
Did they take Santa to the hospital to get better so he could bring us our presents? Uh, yeah, honey. No, I'm serious, Joan. Who were those guys? What the hell's going on here? Charles, I don't know. Why do you think I always know what's going on? What do you think they'll do with the body? Audrey, put that thing out right now. in our yard, in the neighbor's yard. Man, you are cruising for a bruising tonight, Bissy. I don't know, Angel. I don't know. Come on, kids. Let's go inside before you catch cold. Charles, you coming? Yeah, in a minute. What about Santa's reindeer? Oh. All the saints who are in heaven. No shit. Guess he was real, huh? Charles, come here. You gotta see this. What? What is it? Neat. Christ on a stick. How the hell are we gonna get the reindeer off the roof? You have to ruin a perfectly nice moment over a minor technical difficulty. Come on, kids, let's go inside. Your father's in one of his moods. Ah. 